Welcome to another video in Professional Charts and Dashboard series. In previous video, I have explained briefly about what the dumbbell chart is, where it is used and so on. Now in this video, I will show you all the steps you need to perform to create this chart inside Excel. So let us get started and move to Excel. So here on screen, you can see our dummy data set, which we'll be using to create the dumbbell charts. Now looking at the dumbbell chart, you might have thought that we can create the chart using the line chart in an Excel. But instead, we'll have to use the scatter plot to create it. Now to create a scatter plot, we need the data for X axis and Y axis. Our X axis data is already present here with two year cells. So now I will quickly add the Y axis data labels. So let us start typing X axis and this will be a simple sequential number 1, 2, 3. Like this, I will just simply add it. Now let us click outside this data range and then we'll click on the insert scatter plot. Now I'm not going to select the data because starting with a blank scatter plot is easier while creating the dumbbell charts. So let us go to insert and click on the insert scatter plot. And here on screen, you can see that a blank scatter plot has been added. Now I will just right click, select the data and now start adding the data to our scatter plot. Let us quickly add. Our series name for first one is 2023 sales and the values on X axis will be the sales for each one of the flavor. Now Y axis values existing one is one. Let us select that and delete and Y axis will be this one and let us click add. Now here you can see that our 2023 sales is been added to our scattered plot. Similarly, do it for 2024 as well. Series name will be 2024. X axis values will be this one. Y values will be this one and let us click OK and let us click OK. Now here you can see that our scattered plot is ready. Now we'll have to quickly format this markers. So let us first start selecting 2023, press control one and let us quickly format the marker size. Select on this paintbrush icon, go to marker, marker options built in. Let us increase it to nine and let us select solid fill. We'll be selecting this blue color and border will be also will be the same blue color as well. Let us do it for 2024 as well. The color will be orange, border will be orange and built in the size will be nine. Now we need to have a connecting line between these two ones. Now we'll be using the error bars for that. Now we have selected 2024 sales. Let us click on plus icon and click error bars. Here you can see that vertical lines and horizontal error bars have been added. We don't require vertical lines. So simply select the vertical lines and press delete. And now only the horizontal error bars have been added. Now we need to use this error bars to connect between these two circles. Now the connecting between these two circles will have to be basis on the difference between these two cells. Now the length of the line connecting line will be the difference between these two cells. So let us quickly add one more column, which will be the difference between 2024 sales minus 2023 sales. So simply select this, drag it down and each difference has been added. Now let us select the error bar, horizontal error bars. If it is not able to select, you can simply go to this format error one. And from this drop down, you can also select the error bars over here. Now I don't require a cap. So I'm selecting no cap, custom values, specific value. Now positive values leave as it is. Now we'll be selecting the negative values, which will be this one. If existing plus one is coming, let us simply delete that and reselect so that only the cell references are coming and let us click OK. Now the moment I do that, I can see that error bar is connecting between these two circles. So let us quickly format this. It will be a solid line and this can be a gray color and this can be a two point and that's it. Now I don't require the vertical lines, simply select that and press delete. And now this lines has been added. Now let us quickly format the X axis, select that X axis, go to this one X axis options. Minimum will be starting up with two lakh. Now, since I'm selecting the two lakhs because the minimum value, I'm just using based on my judgment over here. Now, based on your data set, you will have to decide whether it will be two lakh or something else. Now I need to have the data labels. So I'm simply selecting 2023 circles, click on the data labels and now data labels have been added. So let us select these data labels and quickly format them. Once I've selected, 
I'm just going to select this and I don't require Y values. I want the X values which are displayed over here. So simply select that and uncheck this one. Now here you can see that some of the values are not displaying correctly. Now since 2024 sales are lesser for this particular one, it is displaying on the left hand side. So I will have to adjust this one, select this, click on right. Similarly, do it for this one as well. Wherever the 2023 sales are higher, we'll have to select and select the right and this one also select the right. Now I have adjusted this one. Let us quickly select this and quickly format now. This will be a blue color and I need to have a, a shaded box so that the line which is behind this one doesn't overlap with this one. So it will be a solid fill and this will be a white color. So now 2023 sales I've added. Now this one will be, let me just quickly increase the size. This one also has to be on the right hand side. Label options, right side. Control Z. Select this one. Label options, it will be right side, not above this one. Now let us select this 2024 as well. Data labels we have added. Let us select the data labels, quickly format them. It will be on the left right hand side. So I'm simply selecting right hand side. And similarly, like I want x axis values and not this y values. So select them, uncheck this one. Now, since here 2024 sales are lesser. So I will select this and it will be on the left hand side. Similarly, do it for here as well, for this one as well, and this one as well. So I've selected this one. Let us uncheck this. Now we'll have to quickly format this. This will be a orange color and fill box. It will be a solid color so that the line behind this one doesn't overlap. Now let us quickly select the horizontal line. It will be a dash line. We'll just quickly format it. And this can be a little, this is fine and the color is also fine. Or maybe I will just choose a little light gray color. Now I want the flavored names being displayed over here. So I will have to just quickly add this. Let me just decrease the chart size over here. And I want at each one of this one, two, three, four, instead of this one, I want to display the flavored names. Now here X axis coordinates are two lakhs. I will be using that for our label options. So let me just quickly add and this will be two lakhs everywhere. So now since I've used the two lakhs, I will be using the two lakhs over here. Let us select the chart, right click, select data. Let us quickly add. Now this will be the series name will be the label. X axis values will be this one. Y values, which we have already selected, which is nothing but this one. And let us quickly add and let us click OK. Now here you can see that marker has been added. Let us select them, add the data labels. Now data labels have been added. Let us select the data labels and let us quickly format them. Label options, it will be on the left hand side and it will be values from sales. So let us select values and the values will be our flavor names. So let us simply select them and let us click OK. And now our flavored names have been added in the chart. Now I don't require Y values, show leader lines, I don't require. Now I don't require even the Y axis, simply select them and delete it. This one also, if you want to keep it, you can keep it. I can, for the timing, I will just keep it, but I will change the font color and maybe keep as it is. Now I need to add a chart title. So let me decrease the height and I will just add a chart title by selecting the text box. So ensure that you have selected the chart go to insert and click on the insert text box. So let me just quickly add the text box over here and let us start typing. Now here you can see that I've added the chart title. Let me just quickly format this. Now here you can see that our chart is ready. Now just quickly format the chart title so that the amount in INR is also getting displayed. Now you can adjust the size of the chart so that it occupies it properly. So that's it like guys from my side. See you guys in next video.